Hey guys, how you doing? It's Honeydew Carpenter. Today we are going to be pouring the first wall panel that is going to go on the Aircrete shed. And we also uh, got to put into action my auger system for folding the uh, foam into the cement. And it appears it worked really well. Now, I had to make some uh, adjustments to it. It pulled the slurry too much of it up and over the top, and so I punched a, about four holes in the center of the tube. Uh, and so a lot of the, the slurry rotates down at the bottom like that. And then as it gets thicker with the foam, it starts to come out the top more. So, But it worked flawlessly. It worked really well. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's go uh, pour this thing. I do a cup in. Yes, I do go. Perfect. Date. These ones are going to stay. Okay guys, I have my foam mate end gun hooked up to a large reservoir uh, so that I can do larger batches. I have my dry ingredients, all my J-Lube, um, baking soda and lime in this apparatus here and I've measured out the exact right poundage of uh, Portland cement. I'm going to separate a little bit of the cement out and add this stuff into it and mix it. The reason I'm going to do that is because I don't want clumps of J-Lube in there. I want it to be mixed homogeneously and that will allow us to do that because I'll mix the main amount of Portland cement in the water first and then I'll just slowly introduce that in and it will be mixed in with a bunch of cement. Doesn't matter how much, just a good amount so that you can dilute this in there. Oh, 
Okay, so I've mixed all of that white stuff in with gray. It just looks like Portland cement now. Darstan, mm -hmm. hand out of your pants. But I'm gonna need four gallons of water. On your markers? In my mixing apparatus. I'm hey buddy, I gotta be able to see the markers. Well, this is a, uh, you just spin it backwards and you get what little bits in there out. And then the, the way to clean this out is just go stick it in a barrel of water. Let her I got that on tape. Oh, that's funny. Okay. All right. You gonna pour it?
Get on out of here, chicken! Dang chicken. A boy was chasing a chicken with a stick is my theory. That's what happened. So the chicken was up on it and your boys chased him off? Yeah, they like did me a favor. Oh my goodness. No, this was our boys. Yeah. But you know what? That's the good thing about Air Creek. I'll just take a trial and just fill them in. <laughs> I'll still use this panel. Hey guys, if you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Be sure and click the bell at the bottom to get notifications. Uh, we're building this aircrete shed. That was the first panel. Just as a test, we're testing our uh, auger and our folding system for the cement and the uh, aircrete. And it seemed to work flawlessly. So, anyways, um, if you want to follow along on these air creek projects and you maybe are thinking you want to build a shed or do something like that for yourself, uh, this is a 12 by 15 shed and just the structure alone, I mean not the slab or the foundation, if you have a place to put one, just the structure, I mean we're talking less than a thousand dollars, you know maybe 800 bucks depending on the size of the shed or 500 bucks depending on the size if it's just a small shed. So. If you want to do something like this, uh, check out our Etsy store. That's where you can find out everything you need to know to build yourself a foam mate, or I'll build you one and send it out. It's uh, pretty quick. I can get you one within a week or two. So, what?